all of the information that you really need to know is going to be released right here. Taking into account the fact that this $638 might be the total amount of benefits for some of the persons, it is a significant increase that has the potential to completely transform the lives of even those individuals who receive a lesser amount of a benefits. To have a little bit more stability each and every month could make the difference between struggling and having a little bit more stability. Now, without further ado, let's get right down to business and get started. Okay, folks, just wanted to let you know that we have some important information to share with our Social Security, SSI, and SSDI recipients today. Make sure you stay with us because we are going to delve into the specifics of a recent study that has the potential to have a substantial influence on the monthly benefits you receive. Imagine for a moment that your social security payment is sent to you every month with an additional $638. Now, that is not merely a numerical value. For millions upon millions of beneficiaries, including retirees, those receiving disability benefits, social security disability insurance, and supplemental security income, it has the potential to be a game changer. Today, in this video, we are going to dissect the specifics and talk about the reasons why this piece of news is causing such a stir in the world of finance. It's possible that you're wondering what you might possibly accomplish with an additional $638 every month. In any case, it is not only about the boost, it is a lifeline, particularly when compared to the conversations that we have heard about the increase of $200. There is the potential for real change into the lives of millions and millions of people because all of those beneficiaries with low incomes and fixed incomes have been struggling, and this is the greatest opportunity to solve this issue. The amount that is tripled in comparison to the discussions that we have heard, which is only an increase of $200, means that the amount that is tripled is $638. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get down to the meat of the issue. Quite recently, they have disseminated a research that has revealed an additional $638 per month that is targeted for individuals who are recipients of Social Security benefits. This is not just a number, it is an elevation that has the ability to affect a significant change in the lives of a great number of individuals and families. The figure has now reached an astounding 71 million people. Before we go any further, I would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for being here with me today. Your support is extremely invaluable to me, and if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to do so. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Okay guys, so this brand new report takes us all the way back to the year 2000, and it covers a complete analysis that spans 23 years, all the way up until 2023. Now this analysis takes into account the cost of living adjustment COLA over a period of 23 years, and this is where things start to become really interesting. In spite of the fact that the benefits have increased by a commendable 60% over the course of the years, the living expenses have increased by about 150%, which is a revolutionary increase. Now, this striking disparity brings to light a significant problem inside the system, which is that the benefits are not keeping up with the actual cost of living of the beneficiaries, which is one of the most significant issues. The real eye-opener, on the other hand, is when we compare the 60% increase in benefits to the 150% increase in expenses, and as a consequence, we find that our eyes are opened. Over the course of a month, the recipients experience a difference of almost $638 on average. It is at this point that things begin to take a turn for the worse, revealing the harsh truth of the financial difficulties that many beneficiaries are experiencing. As an illustration, let me to provide you with an example. What if, instead of increasing at the same rate as expenses, benefits had climbed at the same rate? 
In light of the fact that the average benefit amount for beneficiaries is just under $1,900, the average benefit amount for SSDI beneficiaries is $1,400, and the average benefit amount for SSI beneficiaries is $800 as the average benefit is. Amount for beneficiaries may be an additional $638 each month. This figure represents a significant amount of difference. At this point, things begin to take an intriguing turn. This disparity was a deliberate choice, right? Even though I'm not here to delve deeply into any conspiracy theories, I'd want to take a moment to think about this particular one. Is it possible that they could have purposefully avoided making any changes to the method by which the cost of living adjustment COLA is computed in order to address the concerns of insolvency? And so, should they have made adjustments to the benefits in accordance with the actual expenses, the strain that would have been placed on the budget of Social Security may have been enormous. We are talking about an additional $50 billion per month going out of the Social Security accounts if payments had been adjusted at the real pace of inflation. This represents a 50% increase from the daily distribution of $100 billion that is currently being provided by the Social Security system. Despite the fact that it could appear to be a straightforward answer, the financial ramifications might potentially put the entire Social Security system in jeopardy as a result of this very minor adjustment. And as a result, in conclusion, what we have here is not only about the numbers, it is about the real lives, the genuine problems of people, and the requirement that the system is truly supporting those who are the beneficiaries of it. In spite of the fact that the report shed some light on the broken features of the existing social security system, it is absolutely necessary for us to maintain our resolve and campaign for the reform. This is in reference to the possibility of an additional $50 billion being taken out of social security each month. However, if the beneficiary were to receive an additional $638 each month, we would see a staggering 50% rise in their monthly payouts. At the moment, they are considering over $100 billion on a monthly basis. And despite the fact that this may appear to be a boon to the recipient's financial situation, it actually creates a significant risk to the Social Security Trust Fund and endangers its continued existence. A 50% increase in the amount of money that is paid out on a monthly basis would unquestionably place a huge pressure on the Social Security Trust Fund. But here's the thing guys, let's confront everything. Essentially, it is the same as emptying the tank at the alarming rate that it is already emptying at.